Please make sure that you have a copy of our experiment for today, Comparison of Peroxide in Household Products. This experiment is about an alternative to Clorox or other chlorine bleaches. Chlorine is a very, very toxic substance. Chlorine gas was used as a chemical warfare agent in the First World War. It, uh, when it gets into the environment, can combine with other naturally occurring molecules and cause uh, the formation of substances known to cause cancer. Chlorine is just horribly toxic. And so people are looking for green alternatives, things that aren't so toxic that we can use safely. One product that we could use is hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide has bleaching uh, capabilities just like chlorine does, and it naturally decomposes into water and oxygen. Now this hydrogen peroxide bottle you might recognize from the uh, Band-Aid aisle at the grocery store. It's sold as an antiseptic. There's also another hydrogen peroxide product that's sold in the laundry aisle under the brand name Seventh Generation. When you look at the label, you'll see blue sky and a green leaf. This is uh, sold as an environmentally friendly alternative to chlorine bleach. And the question of this experiment is, which is the better value? Should I get the antiseptic peroxide or should I get the laundry peroxide? They both contain the same ingredient, hydrogen peroxide. It says on the label for this one that it has 3% hydrogen peroxide, but it doesn't say on the label for this one how much hydrogen peroxide is in there. That's proprietary. That's part of their secret formula. So in order to make the comparison, we'll have to measure how much peroxide is in the laundry product. Since we know how much peroxide is supposed to be in the antiseptic product, we can check the accuracy of our measurements by comparing the results that we get to the result that we expect, 3%. Let's go over the lab procedures. When you go back to the lab bench, we'll divide up into two groups. One group will work with the antiseptic peroxide product. The other group will work with the laundry peroxide product. Keep your own data but make sure to share your data with the other groups so that you have a complete set of both data. When you look at the materials at the bench, you'll see that there are color-coded graduated cylinders. For the antiseptic product, there's a red label graduated cylinder. For the laundry product, there's a green graduated cylinder. And for the Clorox bleach, there's a blue label graduated cylinder. What you'll need to have is a small cup uh, labeled for your peroxide product. So if you're doing the antiseptic one, label a small cup antiseptic. If you're doing the laundry, label a small cup laundry. Both groups will need a large cup that you're going to put the Clorox bleach in. Let's just say that I'm doing this product here, the antiseptic hydrogen peroxide product. What I'll do is I'll take the color-coded graduated cylinder and measure 40 milliliters of my product and put it into a small cup. And then I'll use the blue labeled graduated cylinder to measure 75 milliliters of Clorox bleach and put that into my large cup. The other group is going to do the same thing but with their uh, product. Then I'm going to take both cups and I'm going to put them on the balance together. And I'll weigh them to start. And I'll write down the starting mass on my procedure. So this will be for the starting mass right here. And then after I've found their starting mass, I'll begin combining the materials. Be careful not to get this on your clothes because, of course, it's Clorox bleach, and that'll bleach your clothes. So I'm going to take my little antiseptic cup, and I'm going to pour it a little bit at a time in. And when I do that, it's going to react and produce oxygen gas and I'll swirl that around to make sure that all the bubbles are getting up. Only add a little bit at a time so that you don't overflow the cup with the reaction because then you'll have a bleach mess and, uh, and that'll be difficult to, to keep from getting on your clothes. A little bit at a time until all of the antiseptic peroxide product is used up. When all of the bubbles are gone, I'll swirl it out and make sure that all of that reaction is complete. Then both go back on the balance and measure this ending mass and record that here, the ending mass. 
subtract to find out how many grams of oxygen were produced in the reaction, and then we'll use stoichiometry to figure out how much peroxide there was to begin with. When you're all done, the materials can just be poured into the sink and the cups can be thrown in the trash.